welcome to our channel today we are discussing about sources of water sources of water the sources of water may be of two types first is surface sources and second is underground sources first surface sources there are various different surface sources of water like uh, river or stream ponds or lakes and storage reservoir first river or stream rivers constitute the principal source of water supply some rivers are perennial and some are inundation or non perennial the quantity of water from rivers are reliable but not the quality the stream are suitable for small water supply scheme second is ponds and lakes the natural or artificial depressions where surface runoff is collected in rainy season are known as ponds or lakes the quality of water of these catchments are reliable but not the quantity it requires little treatment before use but not the quantity as i say and the next is storage reservoir an artificial lake which is formed by constructing dam across the river valley is termed as storage reservoir the water of this reservoir used such as irrigation water supply hydroelectric pumps power generation etc the quantity and quality are both reliable next is underground sources the following are the underground sources of water first is infiltration well second is infiltration gallery third is springs and fourth is wells take a look at that uh, infiltration well for tapping water from sandy river beds the infiltration wells are sunk in series in sandy river beds the water from the infiltration wells are collected in a jack well the qu quality of water is good and require no treatment the quantity of water from the uh, these sources is suitable for small water supply scheme next is infiltration gallery for tapping water from sandy river beds sometimes horizontal tunnels are constructed in river beds Uh, the perforated pipelines are connected to the tunnel through which the water gets collected inside the tunnel this tunnel is known as infiltration gallery the quality of water is good and requires no treatment the quantity of water from this source is suitable for small water supply scheme next is springs when underground water is reappears at the ground surface by percolating or by underground pressure then this known as springs the water may be treated to to make it drinkable as water from the springs may contain many types of salts and minerals pollutants etc there are various forms of springs first is artesian spring when a pervious layer is sandwiched between two impervious layers in the form of a valley then artesian springs come come to existence some artesian springs are discharge hot water then uh, then this this types of springs are known as hot spring this is the picture of artesian spring next is gravity spring when the water table rises along the hill slope and the water finds a path on the slope through which it rushed out by gravity this type of springs are known as gravity spring this is a picture of gravity spring next is surface spring when subsoil water forms a storage due to presence of impervious layers in the form of a valley then surface springs come to come into existence this is a picture of a uh, surface spring next is wells an artificial hole made into the ground for tapping water is known as well next is wells an artificial hole made into the ground for tapping underground water is known as well again well is two type first is open well the open well draws water from the topmost pervious layers the water of open wells may be polluted by surface water and not suitable for drinking next is tube well tube well draws from the deeper most pervious layer the deep tube well considered the best source of water from any water supply scheme 
so that's for now subscribe like and subscribe our channel thank you